All right, friends, welcome back here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do your very own AI avatar using some of these latest softwares that are available and show you a shortcut to get around all the excessive, expensive fees of doing this, which is the primary reason why people are not using AI avatar softwares. So first and foremost, what are we talking about here? These AI avatars, you've probably seen there's some free videos online that talk about how to use a image, like for example, from Midjourney and turning it into a talkable video. I don't really like those that much. They're fun to goof around with, but they're not things that I think you should uh, be using for things like affiliate marketing and so forth. So I'm talking about using a real human generated avatar like you see right here. And I'll go ahead and click on this short. Are you tired of your boring nine to five job? Do you want to make thousands? So I made a short here and I used the AI avatar to talk through the video as I'm cutting back and forth to different types of video clips. So that's a perfect example of how to use an AI avatar. So I've been using them for shorts and I think that they are effective to give a face, especially if you are doing a faceless YouTube channel. Obviously another area where this would work really well is if you're doing product review videos using the approach, for example, Pictory where you just enter in a text or a script and the AI generates the video for you and then puts all the video clips and so forth in there. Now, I think the problem is that becomes monotonous and predictable. And one of the ways to shake that up and to improve conversions and get better results is by using an AI avatar. So that's another use case. Corporate wise, a lot of companies were targeting corporations with these avatars because it expedites the ability to make training and onboarding videos and staff training videos and so forth without having to set up in film, which can be a very costly venture. So the AI avatars were being used to replace the, all of that filming and excess, which costs a lot of money. So that's not going to be the majority of people. The majority of people are going to be using this for improving sales, onboarding and leads. The company Synthesia has uh, a good option for this as well. One of the things that they do is that when you join, for example, their affiliate program, they send you a link to a customized video that has your name on it and the avatar actually saying your name, for example. Hey Johnny, thank you for becoming an official Synthesia affiliate. So it's basically used as a welcome onboarding video, which is a cool little added touch. So if you're selling high ticket items or you're doing an onboarding for a new software, this could be a really effective way to wow your new uh, customers. So I think that's a good option. So let's dive into exactly some of the options here for using or creating these AI avatars. Since I already mentioned Synthesia, let's talk about it. Now Synthesia is a software that has been around for quite a while. I used it a long time ago before even ChatGPT was even a thing. And it was a good software. I don't use it currently anymore, mainly as I'll talk about in a bit, the pricing, but it has really good quality. And Synthesia is kind of like at the top of the list for quality. You could see that the uh, outline or the avatars themselves are well made. There's a lot of audio options, over 120 languages and um, it does offer you a few free video to tinker with, which I'll show you here in a second, but it is a good option and is what I would say is the standard. However, I will say this, a lot of people, when they look at some of the other options for creating AI avatars, you will not see a humongous difference between them, okay? There's smaller differences uh, when it comes to quality, when it comes to audio and so forth. So those are the competing points, but I can tell you right now, the primary issue is price. So when we go down here, just to show you the pricing of Synthesia, the personal plan is gonna start off at $30 a month. Now that doesn't sound too bad until you scroll down to see what you get. You only get 10 video credits a month and a, a video credit is a minute of video. So you can only generate 10 minutes of video per month for $30. So that's about three bucks a minute, which is not going to be high volume. So the challenge is, is that most of us are going to be using far more. There is no mid-level. Once you go up, it's corporate. And corporate is let's talk. And we all know what that means. So a pretty good increase in price. So that is really the prohibitive 
part of using Synthesia. So right off the bat, I want to say this before I move on to the next one. I think it's a great platform, but it is pricey. So if you want to see what the quality is, then Synthesia will allow you to create a free AI video. It's very similar to what I just showed you. You can come over here and select a use template, let's say a how-to video, for example. And you can go over here to ChatGPT. And uh, what I had done is there is templates for YouTube scripts when you use the AI PRM Chrome extension. And the topic I put in here, for example, is a how to overcome shyness when talking to strangers. So this was meant to be about a 15 second clip. I trimmed it down. And so that way I can stick that over here in this uh, box right here. And what will happen is you'll put that information in there and continue. And then, of course, Synthesia is going to ask for name, email, and all of that other kind of stuff. So I'll pause the video while that processes. Okay, so here is my Synthesia video. Um, I did have to modify it because it wouldn't let me use that template without a business email. So this is the one that I selected. So let's take a look. To overcome this fear, try an uncommon tip. Instead of focusing on yourself, focus on the other person. Ask them questions about themselves, their interests, and their experiences. Okay, so you could see that there, it's clearly AI, and I wanted to do that so you can compare this against the other ones that I was going to show you. So let's take a look at the others. So the next one that I wanna show you here is Movio, or Movio, however you wanna pronounce it. It is another option here. And what you're gonna to start to see inside of here in the templates for modifying things is that it's very similar in terms of this uh, processing part. So we're gonna have some kind of template that we can use. And there's a lot of different ones, breaking news, you know, you could have an AI avatar that's doing that. Um, other things in here, business cards, health and medical, et cetera. So there's a lot of different use cases. The next thing is the avatar selection, and there are some talking photos that you can actually upload inside of here as well and use those. And then there's what's called Avatar Lite and then the Avatar Pro, which there's a good amount of options on. Okay, so you could tell that there's not hundreds, perhaps like some of the other softwares will have, but there is a good amount of options. With uh, Movio, I noticed that the quality can vary quite a bit. So they're not all consistently the same kind of quality like you find with Synthesia. So also you can go through text and this is very similar just to modifying anything else, a PowerPoint presentation or anything. We can just drag and drop elements around to wherever we want them. This is a watermark here that gets removed when you upgrade your account, by the way. But there's a lot of stuff in here. This is gonna remind you of basically what Canva does. You have all these different options in here to stick this stuff in here. You have elements, and those elements are some of those things that I have over here. We can drop videos in, backgrounds, all sorts of stuff like that. Music, okay? And we can upload our own assets in here as well. Okay, so there's a lot of things to do with this and a lot of flexibility. There's a timeline down here, okay, which can be modified. And of course, we have the avatars themselves. So just wanna show you something here about how I feel about using avatars. Now, number one, that's common for them to just kind of be front and center like this, right? So if I go over here, the avatar style, this is in a little circle, but you can use a half body. And this is kind of like what we saw in the Synthesia, which if it's large like this and the avatar starts talking, it's really obvious that it's an avatar. Um, if you make it close up, obviously it's gonna be way more. So I don't know why you would wanna use that unless you're trying to deliberately let people know it's an avatar. What I like to use is something like the circle view. Okay, the circle view is very similar to doing like, for example, a screen recording. You can keep the circle small, the avatar into the corner so that there's a humanized type of element while the presentation and so forth is going on over here or the review video. And that way the avatar is not the primary element that's taking center stage. So this could be quite small and de-emphasized and still have that human element and look like a person. So I like that. Now, when it comes to audio, almost all the softwares are gonna have options here as well, male, female, and kind of homogenous ages here, child, youth, et cetera, and language options here, which there's quite a few. And within that, each panel, there's going to be a range of voices, and they all are, uh, I would say, 
most of the software is fairly similar. There are some voices that are, don't sound good at all. And then there are other voices that sound pretty decent. So those are all options if you want to use those voices. I, of course, am an, a fan of using my own voice, and then I can upload the audio or speak through the slides, like, for example, as Pictory offers. I think that's better because it sounds more real. But I just wanted to show you that these are the different options here, voice over, voice only. You could layer different things in here. There's just a lot of flexibility in here to create. And this panel is very similar, okay? Now, when it comes to uh, Movio, we can take a look at the pricing. So if we go home here and we can go to credits, let's take a look. So with pricing, the essentials, we, we've got a free, which is one credit. You really don't get anything with that. The essentials, which is going to be about $2.40 a credit, and the credits are, are pretty much the same as with Synthesia, is that that's going to be about six dollars less a month than what Synthesia charges okay so it's not that much better okay there are yearly prices if you go to the monthly the monthly is back to thirty dollars a month so again we're right at the same price range it's kind of tough to commit to that with only 10 credits a month okay so as you go up it's a little bit less but not a whole ton if you look over here at the pro level at 180 dollars a month you're still only getting two dollars a credit okay so again, not that cost effective. Now I'm gonna show you the third option here, and there are other options, but I picked these because these are probably the best of the bunch, but a new one called Pipio. Now Pipio is featured on AppSumo. I'm gonna show you that here in a second, and uh, I'll of course leave the link below, but this is another option here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Okay, and what I might do is just open this one here. This is the one that I use to make the short, um, the avatar anyway, and she's pretty much my favorite here so far because she looks the most realistic and the background is good. The green screen has is a good job. So when you put the speech editor in here, it's the same thing. You just drag and drop your chat GPT content over here. And you could of course use an audio script as well. And the timeline is over here on the side. You could see again what I showed you here is that these element features are pretty much the same as the others. Now, as with the other softwares, and I didn't talk about this, you can always create a custom avatar. And a custom avatar is you basically filming yourself and uploading it. And the options or the prices on this can vary quite a bit. And actually doing this with Pipio is quite a bit cheaper. I think it's only in the neighborhood of about $250 to do this versus the other ones are almost I think between $500 and $1,000 to do this. Now, having a custom avatar of yourself, in my opinion, kind of defeats the purpose because I would be using an avatar of somebody else. Otherwise, I would just turn the camera on and do it myself. But that is an option. But you have voices here. Same thing. You can go back through here and test the audios, but they're very, very similar to what we've seen on Synthesia and Movio. Background options, these are drag and drops. You can see I have the little money one right here, but we can do a bunch of different things. Okay, I could put that behind her. And of course, I can change the size of her here as well. So if I were to put her down here into the corner, I can do that. And this is transparent, so there's nothing behind her. So that is a big benefit, All right? So rolling through here, there are not, there are some avatar options. They're always adding more. But the quality, again, is a little different per avatar. Okay, they're not always 100% consistent, but I feel like with this software, it's pretty dang good. And it probably has a lot more to do with the lighting setup of the individual when they were uploading their, their videos, okay? So with here, we have all the same options, essentially for the most part, that are modifiable. This has a little bit less of like a lot of different stuff, I'd say, than uh, Movio does. But again, it gets the job done for what you need. So let's take a look at the pricing for Pipio. Right now, it is actually available on AppSumo. That's where I found this. And there is a short-term offer going on right now for the next 10, I think there's only 12 days left here at the time that I'm going to push this video out. And you can see right here, there is a lifetime offer. So the lifetime offer on a software that is virtually almost the exact same thing as Movio and Synthesia at $30 a month for only 10 minutes, there are three licensing tiers to this, $49, $169, and $299. So if you scroll down here to go through this to see what you get, 
This is where it gets interesting. At $49, you have a one-time purchase. You're only going to pay $49 complete. You're going to get 15 credits a month, and the credits are exactly the same, so it's going to get 15 minutes of video, unlimited downloads at $49 one-time fee. You've got the License 2 tier, which is $169, and you get 60 credits a month. And License Tier 3, $299, gives you 120 credits a month. That's a lot of video. So you can imagine why I'm a fan of this. One video credit is a minute of generated video. This is clearly the winner when it comes to uh, return on investment in terms of what you're paying. Okay, so having a lifetime... Uh, license to this is going to allow you a lot of ability to create video. And at these prices, it's a no-brainer. So to me, my recommendation is I've shown you the very similar styles of being able to create AI avatars with these softwares in terms of audio. They're pretty much almost the same, but the pricing is vastly different. And so now I feel like we finally have an option to be able to use, uh, create and use AI avatars that is uh, within a price range for everybody to be able to generate. So I do highly recommend this. The offer ends in 12 days. I'm going to supply the link below this video. So make sure you hop on it uh, because this is pretty much the only option at that price to be able to do this at a high volume. So that about wraps it up for this video. So please do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so that you can get notifications of upcoming videos so that you can be successful with AI and do it at a good deal. Thanks for watching.